Alright, so now we're going to talk a little bit about weapon-based enchantments. These are spells that you're going to cast on your weapon to modify the effect type that you have on your weapon. Um, we'll, we'll talk about spells first, then we'll talk about poisons and some other things second. Uh, the first thing we have is just enchanting your weapon. Like if you wanted to enchant it with psychic energy, you could say, you know, I enchant this weapon with psychic energy. When you swing, instead of having a body effect with your weapon, it would instead have a psychic effect. So if you were uh, using cripple normally, you would do crit cripple body one. Uh, with a psychic enchant up, it would be crit cripple psychic one. So it just changes the effect. This is a smart effect, though. So if you have, if you realize that psychic isn't affecting whatever you're hitting, you can switch back to body at will for the duration of the spell. You can have it just be a body, a, a normal body effect if, if psychic isn't working on the creature that you're fighting. Now, poison and disease work much the same way as this enchantment. You're going to put a poison or a disease onto, um, onto your weapon. Poisons normally, and diseases as well, uh, work at power level 1 when they're weapon based. And they can be improved by using crits and backstabs in order to make it so that people have to use you know, the bigger resistances to stop it. So, um, poison, so you know, in the new system is smart. Now, normally in poison, if you, if you swing your sword, and even if it touches, like, anything, the, the poison gets knocked off, and, you know, you wasted the poison, basically. With our system, with the, with the new Magistry version 2 system, poison is smart. You put it on your weapon, you could be swinging body, you could be swinging psychic, you could be swinging anything you want, and when you're ready to strike with that poison, you decide when the poison gets triggered. So, and, and that poison is going to supersede any other enchantment you have on your weapon. If you're consistently singing, swinging Psychic, when you're ready to hit with the poison, you will instead say Poison. So, the crit, like I said before, the crit and the backstab are going to determine the power level of that poison. So, if you're using a high level crit or a, a level backstab in order to boost that up, the, the way that you would call that would be, um, you know, if you had a weakness poison on your blade and you were using a backstab 3 to deliver it, that's power level 2, you would say backstab weakness poison 2. The, the numerical value doesn't factor into this at all. The only time that the numerical factor does enter into the equation is when you're dealing with damage-based poison. So if you have like a poison 5, that will stack with the crit or the backstab that you're using to deliver the attack. So for example, that same backstab 3 that we used with our weakness poison, if that was instead like a damage-based poison, like a damage 9 poison, you would, instead of calling just, you know, backstab, you would say backstab 12, poison 2. The reason it is a backstab 12 is because the 3 and the 9 add together. The reason it's poison is because poison supersedes any of your other effect types. And the reason it's level 2 is because you're using a backstab 3 to deliver it, so it becomes 2. Somebody is going to have to use a level 2 resistance or immunity to stop that from hitting them. That's what we have for our weapon-based enchantments. That's all I have to say about that.